Miss, how are you doing? Did you miss mama? Mama miss you. All of you. If you are new to my channel, I want to say thank you. Thank you for coming on and watching my videos. It is a privilege and honor to share them with all of you. And make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell when notifications when I'm on today. Let's talk about today. Today we're going to do a tag that I was tagged by Tasha Elaine. Not so average. Thanks, sis, for the tag. And the, the name of the tag is Get to Know Me Tag. Hmm. Get to Know Me Tag. First question. What is my name? Well, my name is Gail Nichelle Blake. So, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the last name thing. My mother's last name is Blakes with an S at the end. And so, on all of our birth certificates, we have an S in our last name. But, here's the kicker. Half of the siblings, my mother's children, didn't want the S. So when we was in, you know, getting our license and et cetera, state ID, some of us, we used Blake because we didn't want the S. It was never a problem. I'm originally from Illinois, so it was never a problem. Then in 2012, I moved out of Illinois and winded up in 20. 14 in Texas prior to you know uh, Oklahoma so when I got to Texas long story short they looked stri strategically at my uh, birth certificate and spotted the ass at the end so I'm like no you don't have to put the ass at the end I never used the ass at the end they said well we have to use whatever's on your birth certificate that is justification of your last name that is bound you know so I'm like oh okay so now I have to go back to Blake's but I still say Blake if that makes any sense to all of you it's confusing but it makes sense to me it makes sense to my family but hey Thanks, Mom. Okay. Number two. Uh, when is my birthday? My birthday is July the 21st. Cancer in the house. Sensitive, loving, compassionate, and don't push us because we will retaliate, but we love people. We love to make you smile. That's our nature. And we are great friend and support and etc. Number three, what is my favorite food? My favorite food is bok, 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 chicken. I can eat chicken legs, chicken thighs, chicken wings, chicken head, uh, necks, chicken feet, chicken, just chicken, 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 chicken. Give me chicken. I can have a baked fry, broil steamed barbecued give me chicken give it give it give it to me and i love tasting all kinds of chicken that's what makes it unique i love tasting the flavor of chicken from other cooks so i love me some chicken okay number four cat or dog story behind this question I'm not a cat fan, never have. I think they look at me funny and strange, and I don't like how they look at me, and I don't like the demeanor towards me, so I don't like cats. Sorry. I am a fan of dogs. Recently, I was going my way home from the grocery store about, mm, this was in uh, August. I was on my way back from the grocery store, me and my daughters, we saw a, 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 a fair going on. So I'm like, it's kennels over there. I want to see what they got. They got some dogs. See, my other daughter is an animal fanatic. So fanatic. So she says, let's go over there, mom. So I'm like, okay. 
we get over there they have these dogs and I winded up going home with just going there to look at the dogs wind up coming home with Caesar he's a chichihuahua oh my goodness my husband went up the wall I had to really really convince him to let us keep Caesar and not just that he don't like dogs he has allergies the dandruff you know in the hair in their fur so it's like oh but anyway we have Caesar and then my daughter comes home with the pug mojo miniature pug mojo I'm like get rid of mojo we can't have mojo Caesar is enough we don't need another dog well here's what's happening excuse me my wallet thank you yes thank you I didn't know I realized drop it till you picked it up thank you all right okay so I'm sorry I dropped my wallet but anyway <clears throat> we winded up with mojo so here we are I have Caesar and I have mojo number five if I was stranded on an island what would I bring you know what I would bring I'm gonna tell you what I bring I would bring my husband because if I'm stranded I'm gonna need somebody to talk to somebody to hold and keep me warm and somebody to uh, two heads is better than one so we come up with a, a strategic plan to try to get off of this stranded island so of course if I go he my husband got to go we both stranded on an island together okay number six my worst fear my worst fear is not being in control of my emotions okay what I mean about that is if I'm into uh, a minor or, or if I'm into an argument or whatever the case may be with someone I like to be in control I like to know how to um, diffuse the situation and come out pleasing to the Lord so sometimes I can't do that sometimes I see red sometimes I go off and sometimes I just need to when I do a retake on what happened I feel guilty because I knew I could have handled the situation much better than the outcome which it, it reached which led to uh, whatever happens after that thank God it's not a fight physically that I've uh, came upon yet but this mouth honey I gotta learn how to channel it in a different way and learn how to let things just roll off of me instead of taking it personal because the flesh loves the flesh loves to retaliate so I'm trying to um, get into my understanding that God is in control and I leave all things up to him okay so moving on number seven my favorite band in music is the SOS band I'm a weekend girl, hey, and I don't have time on the weekdays. So, yes, SOS band, baby. That is the stuff. Okay, number eight, my favorite TV show. My favorite TV show is America, American Horror Story on Netflix so that is one of my favorite movies uh, TV shows that I like and uh, it's interesting it never is a dull moment okay number nine favorite movie the favorite the per the first purge is my favorite movie I think hands down for 2018 the first purge it's a message in it. We should talk, all take heed in it and really look at the movie and see what's going on in our society and you kind of get a glimpse of what they were really saying. So, first purge it is. Number 10. How do I like to spend my Saturdays? I like to spend my Saturdays free. I don't like to make plans. 
I like to go with the flow. I like to just be able to do what Gail wants to do on a Saturday. If that entails staying in the bed and watching TV, Netflix all day, that's what I like to do. And or have some special time with the Lord, then I could have that time. So, yes, definitely me time on Saturdays. Number 11, sweet or salty? I must go with sweet. I'm a sweet head. That is my problem. This is why I cannot lose the weight that I want to lose because of the sweets. Come on now. Whoever invented sweets needs life in prison with ever, 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 ever possibility of parole. And if you still, the people that's instilled this century making sweets, they should be banned because it's too good. It's addictive. And you need Sweet Anonymous to try to cure yourself of all this sweets. <laughs> Okay, number 12, coffee or tea. With that to say, I was neither. Once upon a time, up until a year ago, 2017, but really the beginning of 2018, I'm going to sue Starbucks. Anybody joining in? They got me hooked on a frappuccino, caramel, extra caramel frappuccino. Yes, I'm addicted to Starbucks Frappuccino, Carmel's Frappuccino. It's a sin. It's just a plain old sin that I actually crave for this drink. Wow. Isn't that something? And last but not least, number 13, last person I kissed was my husband. Beside my children, the last person I kissed was him because he's always around. So, my husband, of course, which whom I love dearly, my husband. Okay, so that's a little bit about get to know me. I'm not going to tag anyone in, in, in particular. If you want to do this tag, hey, come on. I would love to see your tags on get to know me. But I'm leaving it open to all who wants to do the tag. So, with that to say, thanks again, sis. Tasha, Elaine, not so average. Thank you. Peace. Love. And until the next tag.